What is up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript coding tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about try, catch, and finally. The reason for using this, I would say, is if you're trying to debug your code and you want to look at what is going wrong, um, say, you, say you build a function and you want to test uh, you know, the validity of it or its, it's, um, it's uh, execution, its functionality, points that are hitting, the points that aren't. In this case, we're just going to test it with um, basic console log. So the way to set up your try catch is you write your try statement, which is a function. Um, so it has the has the braces. Expected catch. So you got to write out our uh, statement. And in this case, we will set our uh, name to Theo and we will log the name right um, let me do that missing catch finally uh, we'll catch if there's an error we'll catch it and we'll log it we'll say console.log error plus error and then finally after the code's finished running whether it's um, ran the function or it's caught the error we will just log uh, done running and um, and then we can even say uh, um, we can say uh, var error and we can set that equal to false so we can say we can keep the error as false and here we can say error is equal to true and we can say finally and we can say if error is equal to true uh, console dot log done running um, there was an error else we can we can um, we can run this it's say done running no error okay so that's just some more validation in there so we can see that it's working, right? What if we? What if name is not defined in this case, right? We, if we uh, log this out, name done running, no error. Well, actually, let's see. We take that out. Um, why is it not names? Okay, I don't know why it's not giving an error for. That's strange, but um. So if we lock change the variable and name to names, which doesn't exist in this context at all, it'll say done running, there was an error, and it'll say names is not defined because it's a reference error. So that's it guys, um, really simple structure. I wouldn't say I use it a whole lot in my uh, development at my job, but um, it's cool to know about, and a lot of other programming languages have this. So um, yeah guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.